tired of losing coal? Let me introduce you to the industrial furnace in Minecraft Bedrock. Goodbye to waste, hello to extreme efficiency. In this video, I show you how to build a machine that will do the dirty work for you with 0% waste. But now, let's build it. And I promise you, it's super easy. Okay, and we're going to do it all in first person as some of you like. And we're going to start first of all by removing two blocks somewhere and placing two redstone dust. And above here, you're going to place a double chest. This is where all the items will arrive. Obviously, this can be modified later for your needs. And at the back, you will place a hopper right here and put a furnace on top. Now behind that furnace, you will place another hopper pointing backward. This is where the coal will go and the hopper pointing upwards. It should look like this. Now in this hopper here, you will place a double chest where the coal will obviously go and a double chest up here where everything you want to burn in this system will go. On the left side, you will add two furnaces and on the right side, eight more furnaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In total, there should be 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now if on the right side, come and place four temporary blocks one two three four remove this tray from here and oh i'm sorry one two two three four remove them these three from here and place furnaces here one and two only two leave this space without a furnace now here you will complete the line with 11 more furnaces and at the end, you will place another temporary block and two more furnaces. Now come and remove any temporary blocks you have placed. And at these points here, which will be right here, right here, here, and here, place solid blocks. And on top of those solid blocks, place pistons. This piston here will be pointing right over here. And by the way, I just realized that yes, you need to place another furnace right here. This is the only line where there needs to be an extra furnace. But with that furnace in place, place come here to this next solid block and place another piston here another piston right here pointing this way and another piston at this point here now to place your redstone and repeaters the redstone will go one a redstone dust here a repeater on the third tick redstone dust repeater on the third tick and actually all the repeaters will be on the third tick so redstone dust repeater two three redstone dust redstone dust redstone dust and take it right up to here repeater one two three redstone dust repeater and repeat that process obviously on the next two with that finished come right here and place a sticky piston right in this space and an observer right here and a lever right here and as soon as you place it in fact the cycle will start as you can see it's somewhat slow but just at the speed we need right now i'll show you why and to turn it off uh, what you have to do is activate it twice because that will remove the solid block from below the piston and interrupt the cycle. And obviously to turn it on and off simply in the on mode, it's when the solid block is below this piston and when you remove it, the solid block from here will again interrupt the cycle. This is a, it's on off lever. Similarly, if you want, it doesn't have to be a lever. It can be a redstone line brought here in some way. However you like, it really doesn't matter. It works exactly the same way, but that's your choice. I'm just going to show you the simple version so you can modify it to your needs. Now, uh, the way it is used and something I do recommend is not to put things in these two chests until the furnace is on. So before putting anything in, turn it on, make sure it starts. With the furnace moving, come here to put all the coal you want. It doesn't matter when you put it, but what does matter is that the coal is 100% distributed while it moves. Uh, before turning it off so that one of the furnaces doesn't take all the coal and and the same goes for the things you are going to burn so as you can see it's already on and generally with the times we set it will put exactly 
eight items of coal in each of them. Generally, sometimes it's not eight, but generally it will be eight with the coal distributing well. Now you can come here and put your sand in the input chest for sand or for anything you are going to burn, stone, whatever, it doesn't matter. And the reason they set this third speed is because as you will see now, the time it takes for this machine to make a full rotation is the exact time it takes for a single piece of coal to burn completely, which ensures there is no waste of coal that an item doesn't arrive here before the coal is 100% burned and grabs another item and starts. This way everything will be much more efficient and almost no coal will be wasted when doing things. The timing will also give them space to burn 8 items at once, so each cycle that goes all around is enough time to use one piece of coal and burn 8 items at once. Everything is 100% measured. Yes, if you want to change the timings, make it bigger, go ahead. But keep in mind that this has already been measured several times, under various tests, so that just when it gets here, this thing has to turn off. As you can see, it arrives here already off. And when it enters here, if there is more sand to grab, it turns back on. If you notice, it turns off. There is more sand to grab. If there is, it will grab the items and again, and the same when it releases them. Once it gets here, it will release absolutely all the items. Everything that arrives, once it releases everything, it moves to the next one. There is no need to add another hopper to add a cart with a hopper. This speed and these distances already measured and pre measured i promise you that it makes this structure super 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 efficient with zero waste as you can see it is super measured absolutely perfect off on for example once all this sand is distributed obviously it will get here and there will be no need for the furnace to turn on again but i've repeated those things quite a bit still as i said this furnace is super efficient and industrial enough for the needs of most worlds if you want to make it bigger go ahead and if you make it much bigger, show it off, please send it to me on Discord or whatever. Pero recuerden amigos, mi nombre es Mucho Gusto y como siempre, fue un gusto en verlos. Chao.